हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल दैट इज एस एस अकाउंट यूनिट वन दैट इज इश्यू एंड फोर फीचर ऑफ शेयर्स री इश्यू ऑफ फोरफिटेड शेयर्स रिडम्शन ऑफ प्रिपरेंट शेयर्स एंड बाय बैक ऑफ शेयर्स फ्रॉम दिस यूनिट तो स्टूडेंट्स वी हैव ऑलरेडी कंप्लीटेड मेनी पार्ट्स सो टुडे वी आर ऑन अ सिक्सटीन दैट इज इश्यू ऑफ शेयर्स एट प्रीमियम विथ ओवर सब्सक्रिप्शन प्रो राटा अलॉटमेंट एंड नॉन रिसिप्ट ऑफ अलॉटमेंट मनी so i have already told you non receipt of allotment money means this is the case of calls in arrear see here in my previous video we have solved one practical problem on issue of shares at par with over subscription pro rata allotment and non receipt of allotment money so students today we are going to solve a one practical problem on issue of shares at premium with over subscription pro rata allotment and non receipt of allotment money See here in this practical problem, we will see over subscription is there. This is the problem which is based on premium. We can we can see here pro rata allotment and we are going to do the journal entries on pro rata allotment and also there is a calls in arrear. All these four points we will see in one practical problem. See the practical problem that is K M C Company Limited issued sixty thousand. Shares, equity shares of rupees fifty each at a premium of rupees twenty per share for public subscription. The price of share is called as on application forty, including premium. See here, company here issued sixty thousand equity shares, and this fifty is here face value, and premium is here twenty. Okay, so here they have told us on application forty, including premium, means here students here. On application here it is the twenty and this extra twenty is here premium means on application twenty and premium is here twenty okay so on application forty including premium on allotment rupees twenty and rupees ten on first call the company received the applications for seventy five thousand shares okay so this is the case of over subscription see the next the directors allotted shares on pro rata basis. means here whatever the extra shares are there company is not going to reject here it is going to adjust the on pro rata basis adjust the excess application money against the allotment money and here one of the shareholder his name is mr q who was applied for 1500 shares failed to pay the allotment and first call money so here mr q he was applied for 1500 shares but here it is not given how much shares are allotted or how much shares issued to mr q so here they are giving here applied number of shares applied for 1500 shares but he failed to pay the allotment and first call money so here you are asked to calculate the amount of capital and premium in application we have to calculate very simple just i have told you here excess application money amount not received from mr q amount received on allotment and amount received on first call so all these things are we are going to calculate here okay see here number of shares issued by the company is given here 60000 number of applications received are 75000 means this is the case of over subscription because here applications received are more than number of shares issued by the company and there is a excess of shares that is 15000 this 15000 means the difference between these two that is 75000 and 60000 the difference will come that is excess of shares are of 15000 okay fine see the next shares called including premium on applications so in the question the face value is given rupees 50 okay on applications they they are given here on applications 40 including premium means here on application rupees 20 and this 20 is here premium that is on application there is a premium and allotment rupees 20 and first call rupees 10 okay see the next mr q applied for 1500 shares failed to pay the allotment and first call money means this is the case of call seen arrear fine see the next one see the first point that is amount of capital and premium in application we have to calculate first this amount of capital and premium in application see here first working note amount of capital and premium in application so for that amount called minus amount of premium is equal to amount of capital so here amount called on application that is 40 
and amount of premium that is 20 means difference between these two that is 20 is the amount of capital. Next amount of capital in application that is 60,000 multiply with 20 that will come 12 lakh and amount of premium in application is 60,000 multiply with 20 this 20 and that will come 12 lakh. Okay, fine. See here, the amount of capital in application means here 60,000. This is the number of applications received from the public that is 60,000. We have to multiply this with amount of capital on application that is 20. This is the difference between 20 and that will come 12 lakh. Similarly, amount of premium in application that is the 60,000 number of applications received multiply with the premium that is 20 and the amount will come same that is 12 lakh. So, this is the amount of capital and premium in application. See the next working note that is excess application money. So, here applications received minus shares issued is equal to excess application into application money. So, here applications received are 75,000 minus shares issued are here 60,000. The difference will come here 15,000 and multiply this 15,000 with application money that is 40 means including premium that is 40 and the final amount will come here 6 lakh means here excess application money is here 6 lakh and this 6 lakh company is here going to adjust this 6 lakh with allotment money. Okay, fine. So, this is the second working note, excess application money. See here, we have to calculate amount of capital and premium in application. Second one is excess application money and third one is the amount not received from Mr. Q. Okay, fine. Now see the third one that is amount not received from Mr. Q. For that we have to write like this formula. See here number of shares issued to Mr. Q is equal to total number of shares to be issued divided by total number of shares applied for multiply with number of shares applied by Mr. Q. So students one thing I would like to tell you whatever given in the question that is number of shares applied for or number of shares issued whatever given we have to write that that as denominator okay see here i have given here one note number of shares applied by mr q is given here okay so because of that number of shares applied for is taken as denominator whatever given we have to write we have to take that as denominator and which one you want to find out in this question we have to write here upper side so, here the formula is total number of shares to be issued divided by total number of shares applied for multiply with number of shares applied by Mr. Q. See here in this question they have given Mr. Q who was applied for 1500 shares. Means here it is not given how much shares company allotted or company issued to Mr. Q. Okay. So, applied is given because of that this applied 50, this applied number of shares applied we have to take as denominator denominator means here we have to write here take as denominator and which one you want to find out that one you have to write here upper side okay so here we have to find out number of shares issued to mr q and here company company issued here 60000 shares and applications received for 75000 and multiply with the number of shares applied by mr q that is 1500 the answer will come here 1200 okay so like this we can also find out see here another how we did in our previous practical problem that is with the help of ratio ratio is equal to total number of shares to be issued divided by total number of shares applied for here we ha we have to find out total number of shares to be issued to by issued to mr q and given is here number of shares applied for whatever given we have to write it as denominator okay. and which one you want to find out that we have to write here upper side so so here like this also you can find out the answer will come here same that is 1200 see here 1200 and 1200 answer will come same so these are the two formulas you can find out like this now next see here excess application money from mr q is equal to is equal to this is number of shares applied by mr q that is 1500 minus number of shares issued to Mr. Q that is 1200 the difference will come here 300 
this 300 we have to multiply with application money per share that is 40 and answer will come here 12,000. Next amount called from Mr. Q at the time of allotment means here number of shares is issued to Mr. Q that is 1200 multiply this 1200 with allotment money per share that will come 24,000 and students here excess application money from Q that is 1500 minus 1200 is equal to 300 and we have to multiply this 300 with application including premium. Next amount not received from Mr. Q is equal to amount called minus excess application money. So here amount called is here 24,000 and minus excess application money that is here that one is 12,000 difference will come here. 12,000 means here amount not received from Mr. Q is 12,000. So students whichever given in the question we have to take that one as denominator and which one you want to find out that one we have to take here upper side. So like this we can find out the amount not received. Okay. And this is the another formula ratio with the help of this you can also find out. So see here I have taken screenshot of previous practical problem that here given allotted shares. So students allotted and issued both are the same. In this question they have given the allotted shares. Number of shares allotted that is 120 shares. Because of that we have taken here number of shares to be issued or number of shares to be allotted. Both the meanings are same here. Okay. So just to clarify I have taken here this screenshot previous practical problems the screenshot is this. So, see here allotted is given and we have to find out how much shares applied for. Okay. So, the fourth one that is amount received on allotment. The fourth working note we have to do here. See here once again that is amount received on allotment and last one amount received on first call. So, here amount received on allotment is equal to amount called minus excess application money minus amount not received from Mr. Q. So here amount called on allotment that is 60,000 means this is the number of shares issued by the company multiply with this allotment money per share that is 20 and minus excess application money that is 6 lakh. This 6 lakh is from second working note. See here excess application money 6 lakh and third one is and amount not received from Mr. Q that is from third working note that is 12,000. Amount not received from Mr. Q 12,000. So after deducting all things it will come 5,88,000. So amount received on allotment after deducting all these things it will come 5,88,000. So the last one amount received on first call that is amount called is equal to Number of shares issued by the company that is 60,000 multiply with first call money per share that is 10 it will come 6 lakh. Amount not received from Mr. Q that one we can take directly 12,000 otherwise calculate like this that is number of shares issued to Mr. Q multiply with multiply with first call money per share that is 10 it will come 12,000 and amount received is equal to amount called this one 6 lakh minus amount not received from Mr. Q that is 12,000. The final amount will come here for you like 88,000. So here we can directly take this 12,000 from here. See here 12,000. Otherwise take this 1200 number of shares issued to Mr. Q 1200. Multiply this 1200 with a first call money per share that is 10. Okay. So answer will come here same that is 12,000. So like this we can calculate the amount received on first call and the amount received on allotment okay so thank you very much if you have any query you can ask me in comment box subscribe my youtube channel like share and also comment